Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case, all 12 boxes of 2022 Panini Chronicles football. All random teams as well, random team break number one. All teams are in no combos, all cards ship. You know Chronicles, a lot of nice stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Thanks to the people who won their spots in those Chronicles pack breaks. And there's all 32 right there. One dice roll for both lists, five and a two, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, and a two. Six and seven. We got John down to Darji. And then five and a two, seven times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, Rams down to Colts. And we will pause the video for a trade window, so feel free to trade if you'd like. Trade at your own risk, as always. All right, John with the Rams, Greg with the Saints and Chiefs, Michael with the Browns, Damien with the Broncos, Ed with the Patriots, Matthew with the Vikings, Chris with the Dolphins, Adam with the Steelers, Brian, Last Bon Mojo, Cowboys. Matthew with the Eagles, Nathan with the Bengals, Lance with the Titans, uh, Nathan with the Seahawks, Tristan with the Panthers, Chris with the uh, Chris P with the Raiders. There's a Chris M and a Chris P here. Tristan with the Buccaneers, Adam with the Cardinals, Damien with the Packers, John with the Giants, Lance with the Chargers, uh, John uh, JPF with the Jaguars, a couple Johns here, John Jackson with the Niners, Brian with the Ravens, Adam with his Jets. Look at that, Adam. John with the uh, Texans, Steve with the Bears, Brian with the Bills, Nathan with the Falcons, John Jackson with the Lions. Tristan with the Commanders, and Jigar Darji with the Indianapolis Colts. Got some gamblers on the team. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Very suspensions for these Colts players that were announced yesterday. I don't know if... Uh, were they impact players? I think one of Rodgers, right? I think one of their corners. That, that, that would be... A, a big hole to fill, but watch if you're if you're in the NFL watching, watch out, guys. All right, Vikings and Eagles up for trade, by the way. So if you've got some offers, make it happen. We're gonna pause the video when we come back. We're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, some trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on a Thursday. And there it is, full case break. They're pro, I mean, I guess they are pros. Quadruple A players, maybe. Still pros, I guess. Now, where does this no-hitter rank in game score? If you're into that sort of thing. I don't know if uh, MLB.com will give me a game score in the box score. No, maybe Baseball Reference will give me a game score. Game score was a 96. 
which does not crack the hundred. If you're, if you're into this sort of thing, there's the Wikipedia article for, or on game score. It's a Bill James sort of thing to try to attempt to quantify, you know, let's say, for example, a no-hitter, you know, or an individual pitching performance. You start with 50 points, add one point for each out recorded, so three points for every complete inning pitched, two points for each inning completed after the fourth, one point for each strikeout, subtract two points for each hit allowed, subtract four for each earned run allowed, subtract two points for each unearned run allowed, subtract one point for each walk. So with that fun little metric right there, the best game score of all time is 101. No, 105, which was uh, Kerry Woods' performance there. All right, and here is 2022 Chronicles. All card ship, a lot of fun stuff here. We've got Derek Stingley Jr., 132 out of 240, our first hit, going to John and the Texans. Nice Kenny Pickett score. Refractor, rookie, Adam Kupperman in the Steelers. Nice. And then we got Desmond Ritter autograph. Nice start. That's going to go to Nathan and the Falcons. 53 out of 99. That's a cool design. What are they calling this? Chronicles Gridiron Kings. Sort of like a sampler platter. Sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll almost preview maybe some future designs in here as well. Here is a Brees Hall to 149 for Adams Jets and a Kenny Pickett Luminance for Adam. And there's Rocket Ishmael, 32 out of 50. It was fun to watch. He was a Raider for a little bit as well. It's going to go to. It's going to go to Brian Dallas. It's last spot Mojo as well. Seventy percent of the time. Last spot Mojo hits one hundred percent of the time. And we got a Brock Purdy as well. Niners. John Jackson with the Niners. Get this off the table there, and there's Matt Crow. All right, that was box one. That's good company for Domingo Herman. Jeff saying, Domingo Herman, fourth time in Yankee lore. Larson, Wells, Cohn, and Herman with perfects. How long did Rocket play in the CFL? I don't know. But it sounds like you're going to tell me, Jan. Three, four years? Four, few seasons? I'm not up on my Rocket Ishmael uh, bio. Brock Purdy, Alec Pierce to 99, Desmond Ritter, and we've got a Bailey Zappi rookie wow. autograph. I feel like there's still some Patriots fans who are still uh, enamored with Bailey Zappi, think that he should be the starter. Ed P with the Pats, 28 out of 49. 
Desmond Ritter going to the Falcons. We've got Alec Pierce to 99 for the Colts. And of course, Brock Purdy, the Brock Lobster. And it looks like we got a plate here. We've got uh, Snave, not Nyrad, Darian Tenevins. That's going to be for the Titans. That's for Lance. And that is a All Aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Printing plate. Nice. Got Karloftis to 75 for the Chiefs. Got Greg Newsom. Ascension autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the Browns. And then we got Brian Robinson to 99. Zach is saying the plates can be big. It's like 20, 20, 21, so you get like Joe Burrow base rookie prison from this. Oh, okay. Let's look for those. That's, that sounds good. Here's Quay Walker to 199. That'll be for Damien, Green Bay. Won that in the filler. You got Traylon Burks to 199. Got another Kenny Pickett, different design here for the Steelers. That's for Adam. I would imagine that some of these will sell better than the others on the open market, depending on the product. And Lance with the Titans will get that numbered Burks. Next box. I don't think so. I feel like I feel like we would have heard that. All right. Next one. What is the best game we're just talking about game score? The best game score that was a no-hitter was 104. That was Max Scherzer with the Nationals against the Mets. The highest game score achieved in a no-hitter, 104. Only batter to reach base was on a throwing error in the sixth inning. 17 strikeouts. Jeremy, what's going on? How are you? All right, next box, we got John Mechie, silhouette, jersey, and auto. Nice RPA to 49. That'll be for JPF and the Texans. We got a Brees Hall. Not sure, is that something especial? It was flipped around. Got a Garrett Wilson to 99. Wilson! Well said. And Joey B, Joe Burrow, piece of his jersey to 199. That's going to go to Nathan and the Bengals. And this will go to Adam and his Jets. And to 99, Wandale Robinson for New York. That'll be for JJ. John Jackson. Michael Pittman to 49. Another Brock Purdy. <laughs> he almost looks like he said, no, 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 it wasn't me. I didn't commit that foul. And we got Sauce Gardner, 11 out of 49. His autograph, your defensive rookie of the year.
That is going to go to Adam Kupperman and his Jets. He won his team in the randomizer. Got lucky there. And some sauce. More Brock Purdy's for John and the Niners, John Jackson. On to the next box. There's a sauce photogenic card with the cheese head. Nice. All right, all right, we're moving along nicely here. Next one. Are, uh, are NFL win totals out yet? When do those come out? Are they already out? Vegas Insider says FanDuel has some, has some out. Caesars has win totals out. So does points bet, according to VegasInsider.com. Uh, Jets, Adams Jets, since we just pulled that auto too. Nine and a half. Are we going over or under nine and a half? I mean, the expectations with this team. Speaking of the Jets, look at that. Playoff momentum rookie autographs blue, Garrett Wilson. Adam is, uh, is being trepidatious as a, uh, as a Jets fan. I don't know, he says, but I really hope they go over. They've, I mean, as a neutral fan from across the country, Here's a nice one, Adam. So you got both rookies of the year, the offensive rookie of the year and the defensive rookie of the year. They got to go over nine and a half, right? I mean, they're all in. They got Brett Favre. They got rookies of the year. I think they had another nice, solid draft. You know, you're filling in a lot of depth. You know, making off-season moves, all that sort of stuff. Expectations got to be 10, 11 wins. Even in a tough division. That Jets defense is supposed to be really good. There's, a, out of 199, Alec Pierce autograph. What, did I say bread? <laughs> Sorry. Not enough coffee today. I, I, I realize Brett's retired. Did I say Brett Favre? I'm losing my mind. It's Christian Watson to 99. Well, you know what I meant. You knew what I meant. Same guy. There's Aiden Hutchinson to 199. And there is uh, Josh Jacobs to 99. Hopefully the Ra my Raiders get that deal done. And Jan was saying that BetMGM has KC to win the Super Bowl, Eagles second. So I guess that hasn't really changed since the end of the Super Bowl. The uh, teams at the top of the uh, win total list, according to this website here, they've got the Bengals, Chiefs, and Niners at 11.5 wins. 
Are we thinking over? Or under? Can Aaron help the Jets? I mean, you would think that that at, at the very least has to happen. Yeah, the Eagles are lower than that. The Eagles are at 10 and a half, according to this website. But the over is minus 130. For the Bengals, Chiefs, and Niners, I think it's all minus 110. Actually, Niners at 11 and a half, their, their over is, is at plus money, plus 105. And we got out of 99, Jahan Dotson. That's for Tristan and the Commanders. You go over for the Eagles. Yeah, they're at minus 130, and even then, even at that price, I feel like that's pretty safe. That NFC East, not, too, not super strong. I'm poor at win totals, so I, I, rarely, I, I rarely play that game. Here's Ascension, Rashad Bateman, Brian, with Baltimore. But yeah, it seems like yeah, it seems like they only got stronger in the off season. Cave on Thibodeau to ninety-nine. Matt Corral to ninety-nine and a score Kenny Pickett, but just a not refra non refractor, Adam. The Steelers. Adam he's used usually good at win totals. Alright, I like that. Uh, Raiders are at seven and a half, Adam. <laughs> what do you say? They have the over at plus 120 and the under at minus 140 each. You're thinking under, huh? Here's Brees Hall, piece of his jersey. Plates and patches edition to 249. To 240, that is. I think I'm also too impatient for win totals. <laughs> can't, can't wait till the end of the season. All right, and here's Tyreek Hill to 199 for the Finns. That'll be for Chris M. Right, maybe I will try win totals this year just for funsies. Ah, gotcha. You're, you got to be selective, I think. But you generally get 60% plus correct on the ones you pick. That's good. Jan's asking, how good will the Victor rookie cards be in Bowman University best? which will be out tomorrow. Will those cards in this product be higher than regular Bowman University basketball? Like Chrome Edition? Um, I don't know. I think best probably, I, I would think they're relatively the same. Nice Chris Olave autograph to 75. I don't know, maybe best will be a little bit more just to start, just because it's, it's a new release. Nice Chris Olave for the Saints for Greg. And here's some more Brock Purdy's. But I think ultimately, I probably everyone's just waiting for... I guess, will there be officially licensed uh, stuff? Or will I guess, I guess this year will still be all... University style. So maybe they will be good value. 
But a lot of times people will wait. I think at this point people are kind of waiting for his product to come out, his Panini products to come out uh, in his pro uniform. It's, that's generally what happens from uh, from season to season with the the big top tier rookies, like stuff in their collegiate uniform or, or other uniform. When Banyama has obviously played in France, but that sort of stuff will be hot to start, and then they'll kind of trail off a little bit as the stuff in their pro uniform start to come out. 23 out of 49, David Bell. Cleveland, this is for you. Michael with the Browns. And a lot more Brock Purdy here. There's a Baker Mayfield to 199. Nice Brock Purdy in that prism black. All of these going to John Jackson and the Niners. There's David Ojabo to 35. And then we got Malik Willis. Timeless Treasures to 240. Is this a buy low for Malik Willis? I wonder if he gets traded at some point. You know, get a fresh start somewhere else. That might reboost his hobby prospects. And we'll see. All right, halfway through this break. Another six box, about another 25, 30 minutes to go. Good luck. Just a lot of a lot of cards. It's a deceptively long break. But obviously a lot of interesting stuff. I'll do a little recap too at the end of all the all the relics and the hits. A lot of hits. All card ship, of course. Jan has noticed how some college players in draft cards are lower than the actual rookie card. Yeah, that, I mean, that's usually the case. Most, most collectors in the secondary market seem to prefer, you know, given the choice, prefer, the, prefer them in their pro uniform. So there is a distinct shift in value there. There's Sam Howell. And I think, I think, I want to say generally, Collegiate product tends to be just cheaper than in general, too. It's just like per the per box price. Sam Howell to 149, that's for Tristan and the Commanders. He's going to be given every chance to succeed. That might, that's going to be good for the hobby. There's a Kenny Pickett and a Garrett Wilson relic to 199. This goes to Adam and the JETS Jets, Jets, Jets. To 99, there is Tua, Tango Bailoa. There's another gridiron, Kenny Pickett. It's Josh Jacobs to 199. Just get, getting that yak. Yards after yards after catch carry. Yards after tackle, whatever that stat is, he's pretty good at it. There's Dante Hall. Nice Chiefs, Greg, with Kansas City. There's Aaron Rodgers to 99, photogenic. Adam Copperman was talking about that photogenic card. Earlier, and we got a Kenneth Walker to 35 autograph score autograph blue parallel. The Hawks of the Sea. Nathan has the Hawks of the Sea. Is the Seahawk a real animal? There's Pickens and Pickett.
I'm not sure if I'm thrilled with the luminous design this year. I'm kind of like previous years. But that might, might that might not be the final design. Well, according to the Audubon Society, Audubon.org, what is a Seahawk? Is the Q&A. The, the A, I, I will donate later. That, get that pop-up out of the way. Actually, there is no such thing. No ornithologist would refer to them as such. They don't even spell it as one word. Some people, though, consider C space hawks to be a nickname for ospreys or skuas. Ospreys, 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 are found on every continent except Antarctica, while skuas are migratory birds found from the North Pole to the South Pole. Though good luck finding, trying to find one in North America, they rarely come ashore. Skuas have a reputation of being relentless when it comes to scoring a meal, battling and even killing other birds over fish. So, do the Seahawks use an osprey or skua as their live mascot? Neither. In fact, it is illegal to use native ospreys for commercial purposes. Instead, the team rallies around a captive-bred 10-year-old auger hawk named Taima. And don't bother looking for her wild cousins around Puget Sound. Auger hawks are mainly found in the arid mountains of Africa. There you go. There's your uh, Seahawk knowledge of the day. Ooh, nice Desmond Ritter. I feel good about that, knowing that with the knowledge that this is going to go to Nathan and the ATL. A falcon is a real bird. Little bird team mojo for Nathan. Nice Desmond Ritter. 65 out of 99. More Brock Purdy. Got Aiden Hutchinson to 75. I'm going to run out of some supplies here. I've got to do a, a supply reboot here. Perhaps we'll wait till the very end until I run out of everything. There's Chase Edmonds, 10 out of 10. Ascension autograph for the Denver Broncos. The Bronco is a real animal. Really, that I did not know. The original Seahawk logo is just a Native American totem that the team first used when they first appeared in the NFL. I think the, uh, the bird logo seems to be a little more dynamic. It's Malik Willis. Easy E, that's how he signs his cards. There's a Brian Robinson Jr. to 49. Tristan and the Commanders. And we've got we've got a piece of Mike White's jersey to 199. Is Mike White still on the roster? Aaron Rodgers, Zach Wilson, Mike White. T Law's on the roster, of course. That's to 49. That's for Jacksonville. Maybe for JP. Olave, Zappi, and Willis. No, he signed with Miami. Another box. Huh. 
The Audubon has even more information here. How did they become the Seattle Seahawks? After Seattle received an NFL franchise in 1974, the owners held a Name the Team contest that attracted over 20,000 submissions. Around 150 contestants suggested the Seahawks, the nickname of a few local high schools and colleges, and it was chosen and it was chosen one of the fi five finalists along with the Mariners. Uh, that, how would that work? The Evergreens, Olympics, and Sock Eyes. The Seahawks then won outright, then won out with the support of NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle. Hmm. The Sock Eyes, they try to bring that back. Uh, they try to bring that, uh, they were, had that name in the mix, I think, for the Kraken. Oh, I guess the Mariners were established just a few years after. I thought it was a little bit before that. That's what I was looking up. Uh, that could, what an what a odd world. It, there could have been a world in which... First of all, here's a Malik Willis autograph. Lance with the Titans. There could have been a world where it could have been the Seattle the Seattle Mariners could have been the football team. And the baseball team could have been the Seattle Seahawks. It's out of 50. How weird would that be? Here's another Kenny Pickett. Got a reload on. No, I'm out of everything. That's true, yeah, they, they could have brought Pilots name back. I kind of like that name, Pilots. All right, restocked. Let's keep moving. Keep moving here. There's Brian Robinson to 99. And we've got, not Brett Favre, but Aaron Rodgers. 57 out of 199 for the Green Bay Packers. That's going to go till Packers edition here. That's going to be for Damien in Green Bay. Got Calvin Austin, the third for Adam. That's to 199. Michael Pittman to 199 for the Blue Horseshoes. That will be for Darji. And there's Aiden Hutchinson. Is that an autograph? Yes. 144 out of 199. Game wrecker, Aiden Hutchinson. John Jackson for the Lions. I feel like the Lions, do I still have that win total list up here? I don't. I feel like the Lions could, uh, could sort of surprise some people this season. What say you? Oh, I do have this list still up. Uh, Lions, they... Uh, over, under, it's right at 9. Over is minus 150. So I guess they're really thinking over, probably. That might even move to 9.5. But under... Might move to 10, maybe. Under uh, is at plus 125. Clear Vision, Desmond Ritter for the ATL. Another Brock Purdy for John and the Niners. Move 
some of these sleeved cards out of the way. These in here. And next box. Any NFL news happening today? I feel like it's just kind of quiet on the NFL front. Except for the gambling violations. I guess Jags left tackle Robinson suspended four games for PEDs. Patriots and linebacker Bentley agreed to an extension. J.J. Watt joining CBS. That'd be cool. Patriots received a new deal with Parker. Travis Kelsey, okay being underpaid. I love winning, he says. All right, let's roll. Another redemption right here. Kenny Pickett. Any guesses on that redemption? There's, speaking of J.J. Watt, there he is. To 199, we'll be doing some TV work on CBS. Another Kenny Pickett, he's fired up. I like that look right there. Some Sam Howell's right there as well. They're good for Tristan, especially if he has a good season. Yeah, they, I mean, that would be that would be the move they would have to make for sure. You got to got to release those guys. Can't waste, right? Isn't that that's logical? Can't waste uh, roster spots, Jan. Antoine Randall L. Remember him? Going to go to the Steelers, Adam. Deshaun Watson to forty nine. Oh, and that Tom Brady is numbered. Buccaneers edition to 149. I feel like there's some Patriots editions in here, too. Uh, Buccaneers, Tristan, Deshaun Watson is going to go to Cleveland. That'll be for Michael. Another Sam Howell. And we got a Drake London relic. Timeless Treasures rookie relic. That's correct, Jan. I, ju I just mentioned that. Or maybe Jan's just repeating what I'm saying. There's Kayvon Thibodeau to 199. All right. No guesses on the redemption? Well, it's going to be Jalen Hurts. Prism Black Signatures Green. Nice Jalen Hurts. That's for Matthew Slade and the Fly Eagles Fly. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Now that I did not know, Adam. Antoine Randall L. is the wide receiver coach for the Lions. All right, the penultimate box, second to last. All right, more Kenny Pickett. Chris Olave to 99. 
and another redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? Oh, was it? Nice. That, that was a nice Jalen Hurd from last night, too. Brock Purdy for JJ and the Niners. And Kenny Pickett. KP for AK and the Steelers. There's another Kenny Pickett right here. And we got a Romeo Dobbs. To uh, 199. Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? He's right here. He's going to Damien. Nice. Brandon is guessing uh, Brees Hall. Adam's guessing another Garrett Wilson. There's Sauce Gardner to 149. Here's Chris Olave, piece of the jersey to 199. And that's for Greg and the Saints. Tyquan Thornton, Malik Willis, Sauce Gardner. And there's Stefan Diggs. I guess that little day, 24 hours of drama regard around Stefan Diggs is really nothing. The guest window is closed. Brandon, if it's Brees Hall, I'll give you $5 of break credit. Adam, if it's Garrett Wilson, I'll give you $5 of break credit. Thanks for participating. It's going to be Brees Hall. Essentials Autograph Purple. Look at that, Brandon. $5 of break credit going your way. Just for guessing. Just some big money being given away by Jaspies. And I know Brandon has an account with us. Sent. I have to do it now, otherwise I'll forget. And Brees Hall, of course, will go to Adam Kupperman and his Jets. Who I feel like, Adam, I feel like we talked about this last fall, that he was kind of on his way to, to getting some... Uh, Rookie of the Year consideration before injuries derailed his season. Yeah, so Adam gets an auto for his team. That's his Jets, too. He's a big Jets fan. He gets Brees Hall, gets Sauce Gardner, gets Garrett Wilson. Not a bad break at all. And, and that stack of Kenny Pickett's going your way, too. He's got, he got randomized the Steelers as well. It's a good run in this case. And also, I almost forgot, two wax party spots being given away here. So there's also that possibility for everybody in this break. Even if you're thinking, man, I didn't have a good break. First of all, play to the whistle. We were on the last box. And second of all, listen, two wax party invites. All right, Desmond Ritter, Brock Purdy, and Jalen Peter. Nine out of 35. Or Petrie? Or Pete Ray? That'll go to the Texans. Whatever his name is, Jalen will go to John and the Texans. Deshaun Watson, Christian Watson. We've got some Green Bay Packers, Christian Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson. Damien with the pack. There's 
There he is. There's Brees Hall. Deshaun Watson for the Browns. Chronicles rookie Brock Purdy for John Jackson. Desmond Ritter for Nathan. Christian Kirk to 99. We got James Cook to 99, Kenny Pickett, and a JJ Watt relic to 199, another one for Houston, JP. Christian Watson to 49. Christian Watson, and we're going to end with the last card is a Kenny Pickett rookie card for Adam Kupperman. Nice break for you, Adam. All right, we'll do a recap in just a wee bit, but let's see who's going to win those two Wax Party invites. So let's gather everybody's names 1 through 32. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a six, ten times. Top two names after ten, you get wax party invites. Good luck. Fingers crossed, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once more, tenth and final time. After ten times... Be 30 sad spots here, especially spot three, the saddest of all, Nathan. Very close, but still a lot of invites. We'll get them next time. Top two, though, happy times for Brian and Matthew. I don't know. I think I think Matthew got. Oh, Matthew got that Jalen Hurts, but I don't think I called Brian Fitzgerald's name out very often in this break. Didn't call your number too often, so. Uh, Congrats. You're in the in, uh, you got invites. You're in the wax party. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com, including the full list of uh, of wax party invitees. There you go. Oh, there's Matthew. There you go. Congrats. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for Oh, let's do a recap. You can go to jazbeescasebreaks.com though. Click on the wax party uh, page. It's at the top of the website. And you should be able to, there's the Jalen Hurts again. And there should be a link that you can click to go directly to the Wax Party invite list. If you know you won a spot and you don't see your name there, definitely let me know. Tell me the break, the break number, so we can review the video. There's a nice Desmond Ritter too. I just should snap a photo of that. So yeah, so let, let us know so we can make sure your name's on there. We don't want to forget you, you know. Because I'm going to, I'm human. There might, there might be a moment where I just forget to add that. All right, so pretty nice break. A lot of fun stuff. Got a couple Desmond Ritters for Atlanta. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next Wax Party Break. Bye-bye.